lay up. Your bitch, she wanna lay up. That money kinda went up. Feel like I was just here. What's this? 23 and 1 is good. Free trap, free scrap, free got them. I saw niggas get that bag in my city, figured I needed two. I need Listen to my gun, I ain't never asked what would Jesus do. Nah. Trap until we see the sun, play Vegas for a week or two. Oh, nah. Being then on me, I win or fail. Freedom or jail, yeah, yeah. heaven or hell. Yeah, yeah. Wish me well. I've been moving, come on, start on trouble with me. Try to keep it peaceful. Empty basketball court. Famous pizzeria. I used to come here back in the day. Right here. Do real thing. Just wanna see my love niggas doing big things. I don't got no hate and shit up in me. They could take our freedom, but we still kings. Still, still, dip set for life with a dream team. We gonna need some really, really big rings. And I've been getting money since like 16. So this is the block I was originally saying that's always popping. It's Lee Street or Lee Avenue. This turns into Nostrand Avenue. And Lee Avenue, it goes back behind us about four more blocks. And then in front of us, it goes about six blocks. And this is the heart of Williamsburg. There's a famous police stop, police stand right here. See that? All the way to the far left. Let me turn the car a little bit. Let me just... Are you sorry? And normally, there's bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic like as if you're in Miami over here. It's always like you're in Miami. It's so much people, and the, the hustle and the bustle is real. And then outside here, these containers, these containers they put outside their, their stores, and they have... These are refrigerated containers where they keep most of their products because the stores just can't keep any room for all their stuff that they have. So block after block on this area here, like this is a famous little toy store here to the left. They have these containers and these containers are, this one here is brand new. This is another one. And inside of these things are the refrigerated systems. And this is where Biz, a business adjacent from the containers will have this set up. So this business here, which is considered a fish market, they have all, I guess, their fish and all that stuff there. They don't have the infrastructure in the space. So they're able to just set up on the sidewalks. And a lot of people don't know it's totally legal to have this, to do this. But this is the only neighborhood in which they do do this. See, containers with fruit, vegetables, all kind of different things are packed into these containers. And they operate with carte blanche here in the city. Very little policing goes on here because this is a community that polices itself. And um, wow, that's a lot of cursing. Sorry about that. Maybe I will stop the Santana. It's a decent album. I give the album a C plus, maybe even a maybe even a B. Is it worth? Uh, it's worth six bucks. You know, I would pay six bucks for it, seven bucks for it. I would, uh, as far as his rhyming and all that kind of stuff, he's on part, on point. But a lot of the stuff, can a person who's young even understand it? Do they even have the the, the, the references that he makes are, see, this is for the fruit stand. They have all this here. 
And normally it's about 15 times more people out. Not too much social distance. Ah, I said it. I didn't want to say it. See that? It's becoming like common nature to just say social distancing. I don't want to damn conform right this minute. How quickly all this social distancing we did. They're not doing it. Not in that store. I try to get a, I try not to say it the whole day. And I said it. What you gonna do? I'm only a person. <laughs> Social distancing got me. Got him. Got him. Social distancing is just like the grassy knoll and ground zero. Grassy knoll and ground zero. Now we have social distancing. Our new vernacular, our new, our 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 new. What's the word? Uh, I can't even think. I can't believe. I go ahead. Come on, buddy. Go go go. Can't believe that I just said that after trying so hard not to. It's very difficult. So. A block up is Nostrin Avenue, where Lee Avenue turns into Nostrin. And this is one of the big synagogues right here to the left. Big, big, big synagogues where everybody who's anybody, you know, they have all different different levels. You know how you always have, uh, you got regular guys and unleaded guys and, I mean, regular silver and premium. It's the same thing in this neighborhood, too. You know, there's the... You know, there's the regulars, they got the silver and the premium. They all have their versions of that. Let me let these little kids go. See? No SDs over here. No social distancing going on here. I should go into one of these markets so you can see what's really going on. See who's working the registers. They definitely will hire black people and, and Spanish people to work in their spaces. They won't let you make any money with them, but they will let you be an employee. That they'll do. You can be an employee. See, they have all their containers of all their supplies just out on the streets. Nowhere else in New York City, the whole entire New York City will you see that. And this is another police booth right here to the left. No social distancing for you guys? No, no, you don't have to do it. Come on. I'm just proud that you're not doing it. No, you got the... <laughs> I, I'm not doing it, so I'm impressed that you were it. Peace, buddy. Oh, so everybody's hypersensitive on the social distance thing. Oh, I hope we got that. I think I'll leave on that note. Thank you for taking this ride with me along Williamsburg. Some of the hottest spots in the in the city, full of people. Today, not so much. This is the schools here, tons of schools like this. To the right, see the fenced up roof where they can play sports and all that kind of stuff. This is, might have been like one of the original blocks that came down.
So what have we learned today? That yes, everyone is aware of the social distancing. The guy pulled out the little mask for his face. We are all, even, even when we appear not to be conforming, we are being trained. We are being slowly uh, domesticated to this not milk, soulless creatures concept of the way humanity works best when it's really what works best for them and these creatures that are in charge that are pulling the levers and pressing the buttons they're the ones that have the worst sense of humor ever when it comes to the toilet paper and when it comes to the um the popeye sandwich you know these little games that these not nil creatures play so thank you again you are appreciated and if you've watched this long thank you boom